cases of H5N1, better known as bird flu, are on the rise. And while experts say public risk remains low, there are still steps that you can take to protect yourself. For more on this, we are joined live by North, from North Iowa by our ABC6 News reporter Alexander Schmidt. And Alex, what can you share about this virus? Yeah, well, Maisie, as of yesterday, uh, states on, in all 50 states have detected highly pathogenic influenza in their livestock populations, not just in birds, but in cattle as well. And there are also a ha small handful of human infections, too. 55 people nationwide have confirmed cases of H5N1, with 28 cases traced to a retail raw milk supplier in California. H5N1 is a strain of influenza A, and pasteurization is the best way to stop bird flu in dairy. While selling raw dairy products is illegal in Minnesota, that's not the case in Iowa. We've actually had a really good experience with our raw milk because it, there's not many people around here that are dairy farmers, and so to have raw milk for different farmers and different people Consumers are always wanting it. And it's not just dairy, with 21 people contracting the virus through infected poultry. And according to the CDC, it's unclear how the two other cases spread. While H5N1 is not being spread through human contact, experts say that day may not be far off. Every time we see the virus go from birds into mammals, we worry about the virus adapting closer and closer to being able to infect and be transmitted in humans. The Minnesota Board of Animal Health states the virus is impacting poultry producers, turkey producers in particular, in Minnesota for two years. We su we're supporting our producers um, as we're going through this high-risk migratory season right now with birds moving. They're more likely to bring the virus with them. But from large commercial flocks to backyard birds, anyone dealing with livestock should know the risks. The way that we're protecting with the avian influenza is telling people that there's a risk because we're not pasteurizing the raw milk. That's the raw milk aspect. But then we're telling them that that's their risk. We still want to take those biosecurity precautions to make sure that everybody stays safe and because it does spread to humans as well, like you said. Now, Macy, the good news is that if you're not around infected livestock, you pose a very low risk of getting infected yourself, an even lower risk if you avoid consuming raw or unpasteurized dairy products. As we said, those carry the highest risk for carrying this pathogen. Also, this Thursday, cook your turkey to a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, too. There's plenty of resources available from the CDC and others. Those, those are on our website at kaaltv.com. Reporting live in North Iowa, Alexander Schmidt. ABC 6 News.